we've missed our exit. And few things are more scary and unnerving than getting lost in a strange and foreign city. That is, any city, except for Paris. Kodak moment, Kodak moment. Hello, my fellow travelers. Today, we are visiting the city of lights, Paris. <laughs> From Dusseldorf, Germany. The Grand Canyon. This is the world. Keep in mind all this video is from my spring of 2006 vacation, before the iPhone and widespread GPS everywhere, so we are truly lost in Paris. I know more or less where we are, I've studied the maps, but Paris can be a maze of diagonal streets to the untrained driver. I keep the Eiffel Tower as a reference, the Trocadero Palace and all these other famous landmarks. Approaching the Champs de Mars, I keep driving hoping to find a familiar street like the Champs Elysees or something else familiar. It is, however, one of those cities where it is a pleasure getting lost, because you actually discover interesting and hidden corners. These are the famous book vendors by the Seine River. We keep going in circles until we find our hotel, the Vendôme Saint Germain centrally located in the Latin Quarter. Estamos en Paris, en el Hotel Vendôme Saint Germain. Aquello que ven allá abajo es nuestro carro, que nos ha traído fielmente por las carreteras de Francia. Hasta aquí la ciudad luz, Paris. Keep in mind, this video was originally intended for our family, so most of the on-camera dialogue is in Spanish. We decide to go for a walk, since we are just a few blocks away from Ile de la Cité, the center of Paris, where the Notre Dame Cathedral is located. The Great Cathedral was constructed between 1163 and 1240, with the last remodeling and additions finished around 1345. That is a very long construction time, if you ask me. We go inside. Here's the South Rose. Estamos en la Catedral de Notre Dame, en París. Inside there is a very accurate model of the dwelling, as well as uh, some representation of the construction site. One of the chandeliers is down for restoration. Wooden reliefs depict stories from the Bible. Okay, let's take it all in one more time. The outside is decorated with gargoyles, designed to scare away evil spirits and they double as water drains. Oh, 
we enjoy the street musicians, the beauty and the lively spirit of the city. We now approach the Pompidou Center, which is a museum of modern art, as well as a public library. It opened in 1977. At dusk, we visit the iconic Eiffel Tower. And I thought this was a different and interesting angle, getting from the bottom. We decide to go up in the crowded elevator which even has warnings about pit pockets in several languages, no less. And we reach the second floor, without incident, I might add. The top floor is closed for the evening, but from here we can see the Champs de Mars, some guys selling little Eiffel Towers, Les Invalides, Notre Dame, Le Sacre Coeur, and L'Art de Triomphe. All right, let's go back down. Original. Bonjour! It is a brand new day, and today we are taking one of these uh, double decker buses that nowadays uh, they have in every major big city. In Paris, they are called Le Open Tour. The bus has a recorded tour guide in, in several languages. We continue on the left bank of the river and approach the Place de l'Institut in front of Pont des Hortes. and the Louvre Museum across the Pont du Carrousel. We passed by the Musée d'Orsay, formerly a train station. National Assembly building, we turn right into the Place de la Concorde with its Egyptian obelisk. It marks the beginning of the Champs Elysees at the end of the Tuileries Gardens. We turn into the Champs Elysees, Paris's Great Avenue, marked by the Arc de Triomphe at the end. On our 
way, we pass by the famous Lido Theater. Wishing for a wide-angle lens, we circle the Arc de Triomphe, where there is an eternal flame in the middle, on the bottom, uh, to the unknown soldier from World War I. We continue through the streets of this magic city. We reach the Trocadero Palace. The site offers one of the best views of the Eiffel Tower, and we will we'll be back here later. As we circle the tower, we pass by the Champs de Mars. This building, with the golden vault, is the Invalides. Originally a hotel for war veterans, nowadays it is a museum. If you look closely into this garden, there is the famous Thinker by Rodin. That is the Rodin Museum, by the way. We go back north on Winston Churchill Avenue, on our right, the Petit Palais, or small palace in French. Seguimos viajando por las calles de París en la guaguita esta que está a lo más buena. Ahora vamos a, hacia el barrio de Picard, donde está eh, Montmartre y la iglesia. We go around the Madeleine. And we reach the Garnier Opera House with its uh, driveway on the side that used to protect carriages from the rain as the nobility rushed in in times past. As we pass by the Lafayette Gallery, we must wrap it up, but stay tuned for more Paris as we visit the sexy Pigalle neighborhood, the Church of the Sacred Heart or Sacre Coeur in the Montmartre Hill, the Louvre, and we revisit the Eiffel Tower in our next episode. Until then, thank you for watching and enjoy your travels. <laughs>